Uh, here we go. I know the wheels are horrible. I might not get off the ground. I should hand launch it. But this is an old GWS kit. A fancy bright paint job on it. Okay. But it was a bit for a little too much maybe. In the back a bit, I don't know. It's got a 1800 milliamp battery in it. It's really never meant for a battery that big. So, you guys up in the hat cam here. Let's see if this is success or disaster. We will have to see. I'm hoping to get it off the ground to get it trimmed. It's been ages since I've flown these. I don't have any batteries. I used to fly on very small batteries. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it's up. I'm busy trimming. Okay. I think I'm done trimming. Um, and we're up maybe. There. That GWS Corsair is flying very nice. I do say so. I mean, I'm flying it way out there. I'll bring it in closer. Yes, sir. -y. Flying very nice. Give it a little power now. Oh uh, yeah, no vertical. But, very steep climb out, that's for sure. I'm impressed that with the, um, the extra weight of the battery, which weighs Seven hundred and twenty grams? No. Six hundred? Not sure anymore. Three hundred and twenty five grams I think. Or no. Okay, I'll I'll find out the description and write it down. <laughs> Anyways, the battery's way heavier than the stock ones. So it used to run on, you know, a geared motor box. There's a C D ROM style brushless motor in here. Very early, early, early ones. Just loops easy. Loops easy. Oh, I get back out of the sunshine. I was standing in the shade. Uh, it doesn't like to stall. Go a nice little flyby. A GWS Corsair. I really think that, man, I didn't change the wiring in the airplane. And it was a, I had to make an adapter, use one of my adapters to go from Dean's to JST, even for the battery. But I tell you, it sure is, I mean, that's like hands-free, it just fly away forever. It's flying very nice, very, very nice. I just forgot how nice a course air flies. Yeah. 
It goes fairly quick. I'm okay with that. I don't need unlimited vertical, but I'm pretty sure if I, I'll change the connectors out. Get the JST out of there. And go at Dean's all the way across, I bet you. I bet you when I check when I come down my my JST connections are warm. One more flyby. And then we'll do a landing. Come in for a nice landing here. Uh, these Corsairs always nose over on me. And with this added weight and the crappy wheels, we're in for some pavement grinding. Here we go. Coming in for a landing. Okay. There we are. That was a fun flight. We got the airplane down in one piece. Darn, it will fly again. That's the GWS Corsair. Okay, so here's the Corsair part. Now, I checked. The JST wires were not hot. And the um, battery was only at 70%. A little more light on it here. Um, I have to take the wing off to put the battery in. I'll show you. Okay, so... That's it like that. I'll show you here. Okay, so this is the battery I'm putting in. This is what they used to have. Okay. Now, I should weigh these. Now, I didn't show you. And the video wasn't good enough. But the other one showed 71% battery left when I landed. And we got this battery at 175 grams. 175 not and the original has 120 grams so this is quite a bit heavier but not that bad it's 170 not 600 holy moly I said in the video way too much but for ease I'll show you we just put the lead through there the battery sits right there just like that. Okay. Then we put the wing on. The wing will um if I can get the, there it is. If we look inside here, we'll push this battery over to the spot. Batteries back in the airplane. I just did a screw up, ready to fly again. Um, I know it's a pain, isn't it? I'm not big on undoing one screw even. Okay, but now all I have in the hatch up here is I put this wire down because we found out that it didn't get hot. There. Ready to fly again. Corsair by GWS. Really good plane.